Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace, my brothers and sisters. It is with great love and genuine concern that I'm sharing with you some extremely important points that I really want you to think about for those who are not establishing salat, the prayer in their lives. In another video, I've discussed the tremendous benefits of establishing prayer. But here we'll be going over some extremely important points to think over when a person doesn't pray or abandons the Salat prayer in their life altogether. Point number one. This is just plain and simple. You are disobeying your Creator. Look, in the Quran, which is the verbatim word of God Almighty Allah, chapter 86, verse 6, Allah, the Almighty Creator, is saying, O oh, mankind, what has deceived you concerning your Lord? The most gracious? Think about the thing or things, brothers and sisters, that you have put between you and your Lord that have deceived you when the whole purpose of your very existence is to worship God Almighty Allah. Yet you choose to disobey your Creator. Allah wants you to ponder over these verses. This one is in chapter 19 verse 59 to 60 of the Qur'an, where he says, Then there has succeeded them a generation who have given up prayer and followed their desires. So they will be thrown into the hellfire, except those who repent and believe and work righteousness. The mercy of Allah, His door is always open. You just got to turn back, humble yourself, and repent to Him alone and start establishing the commandments of Allah. And one of the most important ones is the Salah, prayer. Brothers and sisters, ponder over this ayah in the Quran, chapter 74, verse 42 to 43, where God Almighty Allah is describing a scene in the future where the people of the hellfire will be asked, what has caused you to enter Jahannam, the hellfire? They will say, we were not of those who used to pray. Point number two. You are being an extremist, extremely ungrateful to your Creator. If someone gave you a dollar or bought you a cup of coffee, gave you a gift, you'd at least say, thank you, but God Almighty Allah has given you air and water, eyes and ear, countless upon countless of priceless blessings, too many to enumerate. And by refusing your Creator's invitation to establish this close, relationship with Him, it's the ultimate ingratitude. Allah created you, brothers and sisters, and gave you everything as mentioned in the Quran, ayah 67, verse 23, where Allah says, it is He who created you and endowed you, hearing and seeing in hearts. Little are you grateful. Did you know that the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. His feet would swell up because he would stand in prayer for long periods of time. And when asked about this, he replied, Should I not be a grateful servant of my Lord? Point number three, you are being an extremist. Again, extremely lazy. What excuses will you give your Creator? The creator of the heavens and the earth. Hey, the one on judgment day who will judge you. The one who blessed you with 24 hours in a day. Yet, only ask you to spend 25 to 30 minutes for prayer. That's split up into five daily breaks. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And you can't take a break to thank Him, to be grateful to Him, to pray to Him. Point number four. You'll end up being miserable at the end. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 20, 124 onward, and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed for him is a life of hardship. And I will raise him up on the day of resurrection blind. And he'll say, my Lord, why have you raised me up blind when I was able to see? Allah will say, didn't my signs come to you? And you disregarded them? And thus will you this day be forgotten. So because... You were blind to his signs, signals, the advice, the warnings, the love that was sent your way. You chose to be blind. The same way you'll be resurrected blind on the day of judgment. It's very scary, brothers and sisters. 
Point number five, you are only harming yourself. You, you seem to forget that Allah doesn't need your prayers or anything from anyone. It is you that stands in need of His mercy. We need Him. Allah doesn't need anyone. Allah says in the Quran, give thanks to Allah. And whoever gives thanks, it is only for his own soul's good. And whoever is ungrateful, surely God Almighty is free of all needs. Allah is free of all needs, brothers and sisters, worthy of all praise. This is in chapter 31, verse 12 of the Quran. Point number six, you are flirting with disbelief. The majority of scholars in Islam hold the opinion that the people that don't pray, they're flirting with disbelief. They're a verge of being disbelievers. Quoting the following hadith from the messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. See, we have the Quran and the Sunnah. The one who explains the Quran is the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The same way Jesus, he went and explained, he was given the instructions about the Injil. And Moses, the Torah. And Muhammad is the last and final messenger. So we have his hadith authentically narrated. He said, the covenant between that distinguishes us and them, the believer and the one who doesn't believe, is the prayer. And whoever neglects it has disbelieved. And additionally, the Prophet's companions, those who knew him the best, knew this deen, Islam the best, they didn't consider anything an act of disbelief or abandoning any other injunction, disbelief, except the abandonment of salah, prayer. Because look, a Muslim is one who submits to the will of Allah, to the Creator, to Allah. So if you're not submitting to Allah, who are you submitting to? Your desires to your nafs, to shaitan? My brothers and sisters, these are reminders that are put out there out of the love. But I can't love you more than your Creator loves you. Please, I genuinely, sincerely ask you, don't lose this opportunity while we are alive to have a wonderful, loving relationship with your Creator. Remember, on His terms, not yours, before death reaches us, then it'll be too late. Thank you once again. Thank you so much for listening and sharing.